Hi everyone, I'm Anna Taylor and welcome to another weekly angel reading. This week I'm going to be using Doreen Virtue's Healing with the Angels deck and this is her original angel cards and they are beautiful. Very simple because they only have one or two words on them but equally wonderful. I love using them. So let's first of all see what they have to say for us for Monday and Tuesday. Okay, blessings. I think actually we had this card before when I used the deck, so that's wonderful. It is a full moon today, I believe, and it can be intense for some people, especially because we're coming out of Mercury retrograde. It's now direct. The planet Mercury is direct since Saturday, but we can have what's called a little bit of a wonky feeling from the from the change of direction, and particularly with the full moon. It can be a little intense because it's a great time to release. But the angels are saying that in this time of release, it's also really important to focus on all that is wonderful in our lives. It's a really powerful time to focus on what we love and appreciate about ourselves and our lives. And they're particularly saying there's some surprise blessings this week. And the angel is, is showing me this picture of people or someone getting married or being proposed to because they're they're pointing to the flowers which look like confetti to me the angels have never shown me this before with this card and so if that's you if you are getting married this week or you have the surprise of being proposed to please let me know because i love weddings and that's so exciting all right so coming into the middle of the week, Wednesday and Thursday. Let's see what they have to say for us this time. Okay, <laughs> interesting, wonderful, more celebration, more confirmation of the celebration. And also there's the full moon in this picture. And so even though by Wednesday and Thursday we won't be feeling the energy of the full moon as much, I would still recommend that you go outside and feel the energy of the beautiful moon. And like this angel, whether you do it metaphorically or actually uh, literally, you can open your arms to all of the blessings now that you've released. So they're saying that this really is a much lighter energy this week. There is a lot to celebrate. And even if you don't have the, the things like marriage proposals or weddings or anything, there's always something to celebrate. Celebrate you. Celebrate the fact that you're doing the best that you can. And they are continuing telling me that there's going to be some great surprises this week for people. So this is a really exciting time to just be open, to let it happen, and to really enjoy yourself. This is a much easier week, they're saying to me, than many weeks that we've had before. So we can breathe a sigh of relief and actually have some fun. Okay? So moving on to the weekend, let's see if they have any more information for us about the end of the week. Aha, okay, this is also one of my favorite cards, Serenity. Who doesn't want to feel serenity, right? They also remind me of the importance of being outside in nature, if you can, uh, in, at the weekend or Friday. And they're saying that it's really important that you allow yourself to really feel your connection with the earth right now, because actually that brings you closer or helps you to feel closer to the angels. Lots of people forget their connection to the earth and their groundedness, but it's essential if we want to really feel and connect with our angels a lot of the time. They're also reminding me of the beautiful serenity prayer, which is one of my favorites, I have to say, and that is, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So much like last week, I remember we were talking about taking back our power, is to remember that there may be things that we can't control and the things that we may not have chosen consciously. And yet there are always things that we can choose, that we can have the courage to, to move forward, to, to go in the direction of our dreams, and actually to remember that no matter what is happening, that we have a choice to be peaceful and serene. But they are saying, once again, that this is a much smoother time ahead. 
they're showing me like a choppy seas that we've had and we're going into kind of smoother, calmer waters. So that is a great, great news. Thank you, angels. Thank you, angels, for this wonderful week. I'm very excited about this week. I have a really great feeling about it for all of us. And please do let me know if there's anything specific you're celebrating. I love to celebrate with you either here on our, my YouTube page or on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Anna Taylor Music Angel. I'm sending you many blessings. The angels are sending you blessings. And I look forward to seeing you or speaking to you next week. Take care.